So we do this really uh, amazing day at Dogfish called Habitat for Humanity, our, our, our build day. And we all get together as a company, we shut down all locations, and we work with Habitat for Humanity and their very noble cause of helping hardworking people uh, live the American dream and buy their first house. We had a really, really sunny day that day. And I'm of Italian descent, so my liquid, I literally have SPF 15 coursing through my epidural. Epidural's a, a shot, right? What do I mean? What's, <laughs> yeah, 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 ready? I gotta say that again. And I literally have uh, SPF 30 coursing through my epidermis layer. Uh, but my good pal Emily, who's an amazing contributor to our culinary team here in Rehoboth, is a little fairer of complexion. And at the end of that day, we all meet after helping to build and lots of high fives. We share bowls of chili, uh, drink a few beers together. And when I saw Emily at the end of that day, I'd obviously gotten a lot of sun. And uh, she's like, oh my God, you got a, little, a lot of sun. I'm like, yeah, yeah, uh, you, you really didn't. And she's like, yeah, I'm pale as and after she said it, I was immediately like, hmm, that's a good name for a beer. Oh, say hello to my little friend. Dehydrated coconut water. And this is the centerpiece of the beer that we are brewing today. It will be going on tap just before Firefly 2016. It will be called on tap Loop Ya Luau because it has a lot of hoppy character to it and a ton of tropical coconut character to it. Mark Safrick is our fearless leader from the technical brewing side on the brew today. We've got Joe from our quality control lab who's very dialed into the yeast world and the haze world of this beer. And then we have Phil from our brewing team. There's a cool trend of breweries doing very raw, rough, rustic, unfiltered uh, uh, sort of IPAs, you know, really hazy IPAs. And we started doing our squall, you know, unfiltered IPA uh, about 12 or 14 years ago. So I was like, okay, something really hazy, something hoppy. Uh, and then, but what can we put in it to make it almost milky white? So pale that it'd be like, you know, alabaster skin colored. Mark Safrick uh, said, oh my God, I've got these uh, really unique uh, brand new hop variety that actually throws a lot of coconut aromatics. It's so new it doesn't even have a name. And when he told me about those hops, I was like, hmm, you know, we could get Emily to toast up uh, some, some coconut for this batch. And then Mark was like, we also randomly got delivered to my desk a bunch of this dehydrated uh, coconut water powder. So this is nothing but the awesomeness of the natural sugars from coconut and the natural electrolytes that happen to be in it, which is why people love drinking coconut water. So we're gonna mash all these things up together in a beautiful beer that will be almost 2% milk-like in its color and turbidity and opaqueness, we hope. Uh, and that will come not just from the coconut additions, but from the additions of of flaked barley, from wheat, uh, and from oats. It'll only be about 35 IBUs, a little over six and a half percent alcohol. In your mind when you order it, think pale as f but the name of this beer is Lupalua. Cheers.